Hi, uh, today we're going to present our AP Biology project. Uh, our section was Genetics and Unpredicted Inheritance by me and Adrian Ramos. Mendeleian Principles The Mendeleian Principle of Inheritance is the inheritance of biological features that follows the laws proposed by Gregor John Mendel, which later became the core of genetics. During the 20th century, many genes geneticists extended the Mendelian Principle with the objective to diverse patterns of inheritance more complex than those of Mendelian, which he proposed. The inheritance of characters determined by a single gene deviates from a simple Mendelian pattern when alleles are not completely dominant or recessive. Uh, we see that Mendelian uh, principles were really simple in, in which alleles were only dominant or recessive and now we have alleles which are not dominant or recessive and can be in dis very distinct manners. Degrees of dominance. Alleles show different degrees of dominance and recessiveness in relation to each other. In Mendel's experiment with classic P crosses, the F1 generation always shows traits from one of the two parental varieties since one allele in a pair showed complete dominance. For some genes, neither allele is a completely dominant. For example, in the F1 generation, the hybrids have a, a, a phenotype somewhere in between both its parental. This is called incomplete dominance, whether neither of the two parental varieties is completely dominant from the other. In Mendel's experiment, it is observed when red snapdragons are crossed with white snapdragons. All the F1 generation, hy the hybrids are pink. So, in this picture, um, we can see that when Mendel crossed the red rose, the red flower and the white flowers in the F1 generation, the flower came as a pink one. So we see that neither of the two alleles is dominant. Co-dominance. There is another variation on dominance relationships between alleles called co-dominance. It is a condition in which alleles of a gene pair in a heterozygote are fully expressed, resulting in offspring, offspring with a phenotype that is neither dominant nor recessive. In this variation, the two alleles each affect the phenotype in separate, distinguishable ways. One example of codominance is the human MN blood group. It is determined by codominant alleles for two specific molecules located on the surface of red blood cells, the MN molecules. Um, so we see that in, in this, a single gene locus at which two alle allelic variations are possible determines the phenotype of this blood group. Individuals homozygous for the M allele have the red blood cells with only M molecules. Individuals homozygous for the N allele, NN, have red blood cells with only the N molecules. But both M and N molecules are present on the red blood cells of individuals heterozygous. For the M and N alleles, MN, note that the MN phenotype is not intermediate between the M and N phenotypes, which distinguishes codominance from incomplete dominance. Rather, both M and N phenotypes are exhibited by heterozygous since both molecules are present. Dominance and Phenotype In order to portray the, the relationship between dominance and phenotype, we can observe on the characters Mendel studied, round versus wrinkled PC shape. Uh, for any character, the observed dominant recessive relationships of alleles depend on the level at which we examine the phenotype. The dominant allele round codes for an enzyme that helps convert an unbranched from a start from um, sorry that helps convert an unbranched form of starch to a branch form in the seed. The recessive allele wrinkled codes for a detective form of this enzyme, leading to accumulation of unbranched starch. Uh, we can see an example of this. There is one specific human disease called the Tay-Sachs disease which is an inherited disorder in children. The brain cells of a children with Tay-Sachs disease cannot metabolize certain lipids because of a crucial enzyme does not work properly. Um, in this, in this uh, disease, we find that both alleles have to be dominant and they have to be present. If not, the disease will not take effect in the human body. Um, the allele is not dominant. Therefore, you have to have the two, the two alleles for it to be effective in the body. Multiple alleles. Only two alleles exist for the P characters and the metal that Mendel studied. 
but most genes exist in more than one in more than two alle allelic forms. The ABO blood group in humans, for example, are determined by three alleles of a single gene, A1A, IA, IB, and I. Uh, we see that the blood groups uh, are antibody to other blood groups. For example, group A is antibody to anti-B, group B is anti-A, group AB is not anti-anything, and group O is anti-A and anti-B. This is an example in the human red blood cells. Pleiotropy. Most genes have multiple phenotic effects, a property called pleiotropy, which derives from the Greek term pleon, more. In humans, for example, pleiotropic alleles are responsible for multiple symptoms associated with certain, with, with certain herit hereditary diseases, such as cystic fibrosis and sickle cell disease. In the garden pea, the gene that determines the flower color also affects the color of the coating on the outer surface of the seed. Ep ep epipstasis. In epipstasis, the phenotypic expression of a gene at one locus alters that one gene at the second locus. In Labrador, re Labrador retrievers, black cold color is dominant to brown. In the experiment below, B and B are the two alleles designated in this character. The Punnett square below illustrates the genotypes and phenotypes predicted for offspring of mating between two black Labr Labrador retrievers of genotype BBEE. -E. Here we see the, the Punnett square between the Labradors. There we see the crossing and how the crossing takes into effect the creation of the other species and their skin colors. Polygenic inheritance. Mendel studied characters that should be classified on either or basis, such as purple versus white flower color, but for many characters, such as human skin color and height, an either or classification is impossible because the characters vary in the population in graduations along a continuum. These characters are called quantitative characters. Quantitative variation usually in indicates polygenic inheritance and addictive effect to two or more genes on a single phenotypic character. There is evidence, for instance, that skin pigmentation in humans is controlled by at least three separately inherited genes. Uh, expanding on this point, according to this model, three separately inherited genes, this model, three separately inherited genes affect the darkness of skin. The heterozygous individuals, AB, B, B, C, C represent the two rectangles at the top of this figure, carry three dark skin alleles, black, black circles which represent A, B or C, and three light skin alleles, which circles which represent A, B or C. The Punnett square shows all the possible genetic combination in gametes in an offspring of a large number of hypothetical matchings between these heterozygotes. The results are summarized by the phenotypic ratios under the Punnett square. In the environment of in, on inheritance, another departure from from simple Mendeleev generic arises when the phenotype for S character depends on environment as well as genotype. Where human characteristics are more influenced by genes or the environment, nature nature versus nature is a very old and halt, haltly contested debate. A genotype is not generally associated with a rigidly defined phenotype but rather a range of phenotypic possibilities due to environmental influences. This phenotypic range is called the norm of reaction. Uh, thank you. This is all.